Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 19th of August in the year 2020, and I just came off a mountain this morning, and I went up there last night to get pictures and video of the stars, and wackily enough, the chemtrailing plane showed up, so it was a complete washout. I did come face to face with an owl that I've never seen before, so I'm going back up there tonight to try to get video. I'm going to try. Now, I covered this in a live stream yesterday with Days of Noah, but I think it's important enough to hit on this again because this is serious. This is incredibly serious. The fact that this news story is still up right now in, on LifeSite and other outlets from August 13th where the Western Michigan University professor advocates the promotion of psych psychoactive morality pills in order to alter the behavior of those skeptical of lockdown regulations, suggesting that, it's, that such drugs could be made compulsory or, admitted, or administered secretly via the water supply. For those skeptical, skeptical of lockdown regulations, let's either tell them we're going to put it in the water or put it in secretly. Well, the thing is, is they did just tell you they're going to put it in the water. And the other thing that this article clearly shows you is they indeed do plan on another lockdown. Because if they didn't, this story wouldn't even exist. And yet it does. It does. Do you see what I'm saying? This is completely and totally unbelievable that this is what we're looking at as Americans. Home, land of the free, home of the brave. Right now, where doctors and medical experts of this panopticon that we find ourselves in are now saying this stuff that we've been telling you for years right out in the open. Well, this article has been bothering me since I saw it, which is why I'm making this video all over again. When, I, when, I, when I'm home, I drink nothing except water from a big Berkey because it removes fluoride. And here's a secret. You don't have to buy those expensive filters except once. When they start slowing down when you filter them, you put an air hose in the filter, blow them back out. It takes a while. It bubbles, and they're good to go. I use them over and over and over again. So there's that. But also, check out check this out. I did this video on September 12, 2019. It's up on my other channel, Jailbreak Overlander, and it explains to you the simplest, most effective water filter that's under 20 bucks. It might actually be... $21, all right? But I said under 20 bucks, so whatever. I'll leave links to this video so you can watch it because I show you what the filter is and I show you how to use it, etc. We're at a point right now that even in the United States, in the mountains, away from everybody else, where you're literally at 10, 12, 15,000 feet, whatever, when you see mountain water runoff, you'd think you could just drink right out of that. I don't. I filter it every single solitary time because... They spray every single day. Barium, strontium, aluminum in the skies. That gives you heavy metal poisoning. It makes you dumb. Autism, Alzheimer's, etc. And who, know, who, who knows what else they put in that stuff? So check out this video. Or, I mean, if you really wanted to, you can get a serious heavy-duty filter from these guys. The, one, the kind that sits right on your countertop and it filters everything out. And like I said... You don't have to buy the new fluoride filters every time because they're expensive. I didn't. I'm using the same fluoride filters as when somebody originally gave me the Big Berkey. Because one of my subscribers, Mike, gave that to me. When it started to slow down, I simply fired up my air compressor, pulled the, pulled the big black filters off, put the air nozzle right inside, wrapped a rag around it, and just kept blowing it out. And bubbles and bubbles and bubbles, and then finally it was clean. It works like a champ. Do not drink water that you have not filtered because to me, this is just them, the externalization of the hierarchy once again. This is them telling you exactly what they're doing. That's insanity, dude. Administered secretly, just like the fluoride in our water, which is fine, good to go. Morality pills in order to alter the behavior of those skeptical of lockdown regulations. Well, not only is this shocking, disconcerting, and just totally effed up, it's telling us that this is their plan. And we already knew that anyways, because they're still doing it in other countries right now. We're just not hearing it on the news like we usually would. 
it's astounding to me how many people don't realize that Donald Trump, Trump 2020, is not only in charge. If elections are real, democracy is real, if the United States is real and Trump is real, how in the hell could he even expect to ever get reelected again when the country has never been in such bad shape ever, ever? The president of the United States can't even stop rioting in Seattle. You know what I'm saying? It's all part of the big machine, man. Trump ain't going anywhere. Don't be fooled. He's going he's gonna to help us ride this right over the falls in a barrel. So at any rate, long story short, do it or don't. It's your call. But I mean, they are telling you right here in the water to alter the behavior of those skeptical of lockdown regulations. That is or should be absolutely and utterly terrifying. It bothered me enough to make this video all over again. So there is that. Now check this one out. This goes back a little bit. This isn't necessarily new news, but it's showing up again, and he's saying it again on national television. This is totally and utterly ludicrous and laughable. Let me tell you a little secret, okay? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me shine a little common sense, see if this makes sense to you. If what they have told us was real and there was a pandemic, by now, every single solitary person watching this would know somebody. You go to the bakery... Oh, the woman that used to work at the counter, she was claimed by COVID. You go to get gas, where's the gas? Go ah, COVID got him. You go to the hardware store, you see what I'm saying? You'd see it, but you don't. All you do see is these people constantly coming out, telling everybody that, well, the guy got shot in the head, but he also had COVID, so he listed it as COVID. Oh, he crashed his motorcycle and that killed him, but we also discovered that he had COVID, so he died of COVID. That's not how things work. It's a complete and utter scam to usher in Agenda 21. It couldn't possibly be any more obvious right now, and things are becoming short. Maybe you don't know it yet, but you will notice. You notice the prices at the food supermarket are slowly going up. Certain things on the, on the aisles are disappearing. Things are disappearing one by one by one by one because of these people, because this is their agenda. Straight up and down. Now, this guy right here who back in March, was telling us to stand six feet away from each other and to do all these different things and stay in your house and don't go to work and don't send your kids to school. Let me remind you of something that's still up right now in the New England Journal of Medicine, okay? You see this? WebMD, New England Journal of Medicine. I showed you this when it was new, March 26, 2020. This was written by Anthony S. Fauci, MD. That's him. And he's explaining what the COVID-19 virus and consequences actually are. And it all comes down to right here. After all this nonsense, as after locking the country down, putting almost 40 million people out of work, Dr. Anthony Fauci wrote, this suggests that the overall clinical consequences of COVID-19 may ultimately, ultimately be more akin to those of a severe seasonal influenza, which has a case fatality rate of approximately 0.1% or a pandemic influenza, similar to those in 1957 and 1968, rather than a disease similar to SARS or MERS, which had a fatality rate of 9 to 10% and 36%, respectively. Yeah, that was him back then telling you that this is absolutely nothing. With your eyes and ears and your God-given brain, you can look around and see that it's absolutely nothing. And yet they're telling you to gear up, mask up, get ready. Not only do you need your ridiculous mask with your little American flag or whatever your little fun saying is on it, now you can get a pair of goggles and walk around like a complete and utter jerk-off. But meanwhile, don't forget, don't let this one pass. He's telling you one thing. And they're telling you another. I would not drink that water in any way whatsoever at all without filtering it. Without filtering it because they're going to put morality pills in it. The fact that this article is still up, the fact that this guy was had said this, and the fact that he's not being rebuked or taken apart in the mainstream tells you they've already told you. They only have to tell you once. It's amazing. The chemicals mentioned are 
oxytocin, and psilocybin. You know, the active ingredient component of magic mushrooms. These guys spent the 50s and 60s giving prisoners, including Whitey Bulger and others, psilocybin mush- mushrooms and LSD to see how they would react. They used it in MK Ultra, and now they're talking about using it in the water supply to get you and me to be a little happier about the next lockdown. I'm not happy. I'm not drinking the water without, floor, without filtering it, and you shouldn't either. Again, you can get a legit monster filter right here for your house. I think they're like 300 bucks. Or you can get a couple of these for 20 bucks and filter it yourself, because that's exactly what I do. When I'm home, I use the big one. When I'm on the road, I use the little one. Use it or don't. But they've warned you. I've warned you. You've been warned. Richie from Boston, and I'm out.